Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on the concept of isomerism. So the question asked here is that we need to briefly explain why alkanes and cycloalkanes exhibit cis-trans isomerism or geometrical isomerism. So if you have studied the concept of geometrical isomerism properly, we can easily recollect the answer to this, which is very direct. So let's try to solve this particular problem, and we know that. Geometrical isomerism arises in compounds where there is restricted rotation or hindered rotation of CC bonds. Let's take the case of alkenes where we have presence of double bond. We know that the free rotation around C double bond C is not possible because the pi bond is formed essentially by the parallel overlap of p orbitals. Now, if we try to rotate the groups around the C double bond C, then we essentially end up breaking the pi bond. That is, the p orbitals are no more parallel to each other. Such that the uh, pi bonds get broken. So this is essentially why, due to restricted rotation, interconversion between the two isomers is not possible, and you end up getting two distinct isomers, which are cis and trans isomers. Let's go to the second case, which where we are talking about cycloalkanes. Cycloalkanes also exhibit the same phenomenon of restricted or hindered rotation, such that these systems also exhibit cis-trans isomerism. So let's take an example of a cycloalkane, which is cyclohexane. So as you can see, that this is a very rigid structure, and this particular system can also exhibit cis and trans. For example, let us consider cyclohexane, where you have two methyl groups on the same face of the cyclohexane. So this will become an example of your cis isomer, and in case where the methyl groups are opposite to each other. As you can see here, if you have the methyl groups which are opposite to each other, this will become your trans isomer. So you can see that the interconversion from this system to this system, that is from cis to trans isomer, is not possible due to the rigidity of the structure here. That is, if we try to rotate this methyl group, we end up breaking the structure of the ring, which is not desirable. So due to hindered rotation, even cycloalkanes exhibit cis trans isomerism for the same reason. I hope you are very clear on the concept that we have discussed in this question. Thank you.